Good morning children. Welcome back to the English online class of Sri Gogulam Public School Guru Ayur. I hope all my dear children are doing well and having a good time with your family members. So be at home and be safe. Let's move to our today's session. Today we will discuss grammar. For the past one month we were discussing poems and stories. Let's give a break to those pieces of literature and we will start our grammar lessons. We will start with the first chapter. So today's topic is sentences. You all know what is a sentence. A sentence is a group of words which make complete sense or meaning. A group of words which conveys complete meaning is called a sentence. You know we human beings we make use of both ways of communication both verbal and non-verbal communication. Verbal means by using words. We communicate by using words. And non-verbal means we make use of our gestures, our movements, our facial expressions and all to communicate. But we mainly communicate using words. Words are very much important. And these words should be placed in a proper order. So the basic structure of an English sentence is you will have a subject then it will be followed by a verb and you will have an object. Subject plus verb plus object makes a sentence. For example, if I say children cricket, did you get any meaning out of it? Or did you understand what I said? No, I just made use of some words. That is not the proper way of communication. We have to place those words in a proper order. If I say, the children are playing cricket. Now you understood what I meant. That the children are playing cricket. So that is how you frame a sentence. Now we will discuss the kinds of sentences. We mainly have four kinds of sentences. Which are the four kinds of sentences? Just refresh your ideas, what you have learned in your previous year. The first one is declarative or assertive sentence. The second is interrogative sentence. The third is imperative sentence. And the fourth one is exclamatory sentence. Now let's look at these four types of sentences in detail. We'll move to the first one, declarative sentence. Or it is otherwise called assertive sentence. A sentence which declares something or which states something or, it's, or which says something or tells something or informs something is called a declarative sentence. So it is a general statement. It makes a statement. It is also called, it is also called a statement. For example, what I told just now, the children are playing cricket. That is a general statement. It starts with capital letter and ends with a full stop. A declarative sentence, it starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. The COVID-19 pandemic cases are increasing day by day. It is also a general statement. I'm making a, I'm declaring a fact. It's a fact. Or, my father is driving the car. I'm making a statement. All these types of sentences are called declarative sentence or assertive sentence. The children are not doing their homework. It is also a declarative sentence. I am stating something. It is a negative sentence, but I am stating something or I am telling something. I'm conveying a statement. I hope you understood what is a declarative sentence. Let's move to the interrogative sentence. From the word itself, you will get the meaning. Interrogative. Interrogative means to interrogate, to ask a question. So the sentences which ask a question is called interrogative sentences. For example, the basic example, what's your name? So it starts with capital letter and ends with a question mark. Which color do you like? 
Which is your favorite color? When will you submit your reports? When will you arrive at school? When will our school reopen? So all these types of questions, it start with WH words or all these are question words. And it ends with a question mark. Next, we'll move to the imperative sentence. Imperative sentences are sentences which give commands or orders or which, or which make request or which make suggestions. All these are imperative sentences. So the sentences which make commands, order, request, suggestion, prayers are all imperative sentences. For example, shut the door, get out of the class. I am giving a command or I am making an order. So it is an imperative sentence. It starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Imperative sentences also start with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Or if you want to make suggestion, let's donate some money to the orphanage. I am making a suggestion. Please give me your pen. I am making a request. Please pray for me. I am making a request. Please help me to do my homework. Again, I am making a request. So whatever sentence examples I told just now are examples for imperative sentences. So let's move to the last type of sentence, last kind of sentence, exclamatory sentence. A sentence which expresses our sudden feeling or emotions are called exclamatory sentence. It's, it again starts with a capital letter and ends with the exclamation mark. What a brilliant idea. So almost most of the exclamatory sentences, it start with what or how. How beautiful is the flower? Again, you put exclamation mark at the end of the exclamatory sentence. What a splendid catch is someone catches a ball in the cricket match, you would say, what a splendid catch. Again, it ends with exclamation mark. So, I hope you understood the types of sentences. And we'll discuss uh, other types of sentences like affirmative, negative, as or no questions, all these in the next class. So, I hope you understood what is a sentence and its four kinds of sentences. So I have attached some notes regarding this lesson. Read the notes for better comprehension and also work out the worksheet that I am attaching. Try to do the worksheet. We will discuss the answers in the next class. That's all for today children. Let's wind up the session. See you in the next class.